Aloha guys, this is Joyce from Enjoy Scrapin' 2. Today we'll be making these cards and I decided to start a Gelatos for a card maker series and this is going to be my first card in this series and we'll be using this Gertie Steiner Designs stamp set. This is one of her mini stamp sets. It's called Deck the Halls and I love this adorable kitty. She's all wrapped up in Christmas lights and she's playing with Christmas um, ornaments. So super cute. And can you believe that this is my first Christmas card for this year? I am really behind. So we'll be making two cards today. And the cardstock that I'll be using is from Paper Temptress and this is the Nina classic linen line of cardstocks that she has available. She has many different colors of these cardstocks available in her store and I'll put all the names and the links in the description below so if you want to check it out. These classic linen cardstocks have these fantastic textures to them so you'll be able to see the textures a lot more later on as we start doing the coloring. So I cut this um, piece, it's a small piece, and uh, the color is actually the natural color. And I'll be doing some water coloring on them. These card stocks behave so well with water and I was so surprised at this. Um, they work better than some of the water car uh, color card stocks out there. It holds up to water really well without peeling up and um, getting warped and things like that. And you'll be able to see that as we move on. So I'm stamping it in uh, waterproof ink here, the kitty and uh, the sentiment that says Meowy Christmas, super cute. And we're going to let that dry while we work on the background. So as you can see on the right, you can see a palette uh, and I've made myself a small palette of gelatos to create my own watercolor palette. So gelatos are from Faber-Castell Design Memory Crafts line of products. And they come in variety of colors in variety of sets available. And these are highly pigmented, uh, creamy pigment sticks and they are highly pigmented and they can be blended with or without water. So which I'll be showing both um, techniques today. I grabbed the stencil out of this mixed media stencil kit. This stencil kit is from their um, new release. It's an exclusive set to Barnes and Nobles. And there's two sets available. It's a mixed media kit. One has the 50 designer collection and the other has a tropical collection. And this is available at your local Barnes and Nobles. So if you want to purchase this kit, um, you can go ahead and check your local Barnes and Nobles. It comes with um, many different products in that kit. So if you're just starting out and want to try some of these out, that would be a fantastic kit. The reason why I'm starting um, this series is because I've heard many people say that gelatos are for mixed media. Um, it's a mixed media medium and you can't really use it on cards. It's kind of difficult or um, some people automatically just, um, when they think of gelatos, they think of mixed media. But that's not true at all. This is such a versatile uh, medium. So I wanted to share different tips and techniques. So um, if you were curious on trying them out, I wanted to show you different ways you can use it. 
very easily. And I have good news that I'll be on the Faber-Castell Design Memory Crafts guest design team. So I'm super excited for this. So you'll be seeing a lot of techniques and different ways to use a lot of uh, the Faber-Castell Design Memory Crafts uh, line of products. So here I'm just, again, um, just scribbling some color randomly and using my finger to blend. And you can see that soft blend here. I didn't want a perfect brick shape. I wanted it to have this gradation look. So these uh, stencils are reusable, so you can definitely reuse them over and over. And I have been searching for, I know there's a lot of brick stencils out there, um, so I'm really glad that I got this uh, brick stencil in this kit, in this stencil kit. They have two stencil kits available, and this uh, kit has combination of both of those kits. You, so you get 10 in the set. So you're going to uh, be able to see the texture through the gelatos, which I thought was super cool. I think this uh, cardstock is my new favorite. I love this cardstock. Very easy to work with. And I'll be using them a lot for watercoloring techniques as well. So I apologize, but I wasn't aware that my video got cut off. So part of the coloring portion of the kitty got cut off, but I will go ahead and explain a little. So here I am scribbling um, the edges of the cardstocks as well and blending it. You can see how easily they blend. I can just hold the cardstock and blend and it blends really well. So I'll be using uh, both the Gelatos and um, Art Grip Aquarelle watercolor pencils as well. And they come in different color families. Today I'll be using the red collection. And I'll have all the names for the gelatos and um, the collection it's from in the links in the description. You can find these gelatos at Tupelo Designs LLC. They have a large variety of gelato collection. So I'll put that link as well. And you can easily just chop off, as you can see here, the top of the gelatos and put it in the palette to make yourself your own watercolor palette. And because they have a very creamy consistency, people think um, that they wear out a lot faster, but that's not true either. Um, they last a very long time. I've had some of these gelato for years and I still have a really um, good amount. So I'm going to go ahead and put a light wash on the kitty. And I'm using three different colors to color in the cat. The initial uh, layer here is very light. That's, these are from the Neutrals collection. I'm using butterscotch, chocolate, and I believe this is um, lemon. But I'll have um, the exact name of the gelatos in the uh, descriptions below, or you can uh, check out my blog as well. 
So butterscotch gelatos and chocolate gelatos. And I'm going to initially lay down the first layer and then I'm going to build on top of it. So once the gelatos are completely dried, it's permanent. So you can go over it again and um, you can just keep layering. So I'm using some uh, guava gelatos here for the, um, the centers of her ears and her cheeks. And I just use traditional red and green for the lights and the ornaments. So here I'm going in with a little bit more color and we're going to create our shadows. Sorry about that noise. So you can uh, use your fingers when um, you first lay down the color while it's still wet and kind of move the color that way. Or you can use uh, water and a brush to blend it out. So I'm going to keep layering more and more and more. And you can, you can tell that these cardstocks work really well with watercolors. And I'll be showing more um, videos using gelatos as one of your coloring mediums. Because this one got cut off, I didn't really get to show um, everything. But for the red, I am using the um, these Art Grip Aquarelle watercolor pencils. And I'm using the red. And I'm starting out with the super light touch. Because these textures are, re uh, these card socks are super textured. You don't want to um, go in with the really strong uh, layer because you want to be able to blend that out completely. You can also dip the pencil, the tip of the pencil in the water and then when you scribble it you'll be getting a super vibrant pigment off of the pencil. Or you could use the brush and touch the tip of the pencil and get the color that way. And I've shared that technique many times in the past when I use color pencils. And for the glowing effect, I used uh, lemon gelatos and I went around the bulbs and which gave a really great look of a glowing light. I even went around uh, where the light touches the kitty and you can still see the glow of the lights. So when I come back, I'll have everything colored and you can see the glowing effect. And I've also added some lemon gelatos on the ornaments as well to kind of give a light reflecting off of it. And on the corners, I've also used the same colors that I used on the kitty. And you can see that fantastic texture. It's gorgeous. This is where I show you that you can dip the pencil directly in the water slightly and then get the um, really intense pigment. So I apologize the middle part got cut off, but I'll definitely be sharing uh, more uh, coloring techniques using this. So we'll go over it again another time. Sorry about that. And I'm going to go ahead and just uh, use a score tape to adhere all these together. And you can see that there's hardly any warping. In one, I've added um, some sequins here. I've added uh, some glossy accents to the ornaments 
And for the other one, I used uh, the Faber-Castell Design Memory Crafts uh, Texture Gems. You see that fantastic texture, isn't it great? It's so cool. I didn't know that these cardstocks existed, but I am in love. You can see that texture. Really great cardstock. And this, um, This is the one with the silver texture gems here. And I've, I've also sprayed this. Oh, this is a texture gem. Design Memory Crafts texture gems. There's uh, three different colors available and a clear as well. I just flipped it from the back so that it uh, evens out and um, creates this really enamel dot effect. So I thank you guys so much for stopping by and I apologize again that the middle coloring part got cut off but we'll definitely um, go over that again another time. So I'll have all the supplies in the links description in the descriptions below and check out these gelatos at Tula Designs LLC as well as Gerda Steiner's uh, Gerda Steiner Design Stamp Set and as well as these uh, card stocks. Here are some close-up photos and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks so much. Bye!